Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans and corn are both lower on Wednesday, continuing to watch U.S. late planning and development conditions. Things generally look good at this point, and most forecasts over the next week or so for much of the Midwest have generally warmer temperatures and light to moderate precipitation. Both of those are pretty good for these early stages of development. Corn and soybeans, of course, also continue to monitor trade talks. As for wheat, it was higher with Chicago and Kansas City in the lead. Parts of the Black Sea region are very warm and dry at this point, and the southwestern plains remain in drought or near drought conditions as this year's U.S. winter wheat harvest advances. Minneapolis lagged a little bit with rain in the forecast for parts of the U.S. plains and Canada. Live and feeder cattle closed higher on follow through technical buying ahead of widespread direct trade this week. As of Wednesday afternoon, the major direct cash cattle markets remained pretty quiet, with bids and asking prices still pretty far apart. Box beef closed lower, and zero had sold this week again at the Fed Cattle Exchange. And hogs closed higher with cash and wholesale support, along with seasonally lighter average hog weights. Still, the trade continues to be very concerned about Mexico's tariffs on U.S. pork. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.